What is up, YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today, I'm gonna take you into this house right here in Robbinsville, Trenton, New Jersey. I can't really tell which city it is because the customer supplied Robbinsville and it popped up as Trenton. Regardless, we're down here in South New Jersey showing off tons of really killer systems. And this one right here is a full theater system provided by Dream Media Home Theater. You guys know we are your nationwide audio video supplier. And we have all the industry leading top manufacturers to choose from. And to top it off, we have a killer installer network that believes in five star work that we are building up throughout the nation. We really appreciate y'all's support. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because I just did a ton of projects over in Monroe, New Jersey as well. This is a new area where we are growing rapidly. All right, guys, let's get into this house and check it out. All right, I am now in the customer's basement. You guys are going to love this setup. Not only is there a killer theater room right here, but also just the overall design of the layout down here, you guys are gonna fall in love with it. And I am trying to show you guys ideas as to things you could do in your own space. So I hope you find some inspiration. I'm gonna take you through the whole space and just do a quick review. Now, if you guys wanna hear a demo, you gotta to subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be doing breakouts of like audio and video demos and really getting into the nitty gritty of the AV stuff. But I just wanted to show off this space. It's gorgeous. Check it out, guys. All right, so this is the, the kind of general layout here. Ooh, look at that. Very, very premium, nice, right on point with 2021. And you guys, if you like this style, which I'm personally obsessed with, you got to check out my other videos because I did another project uh, just earlier today in Monroe, New Jersey, where it's this same style, the grays, the whites, the, the really high end trimmed out columns, uh, nice lighting, just everything's done right. You know it, Dream Media. We like five-star service and we want everything done to perfection. That's how we roll. All right, so playing some pool right here, getting your drinks right there. Very nice setup for family and entertaining. Got a wet bar, all your alcohol. Take you back here. You got your mini fridge, your wine cooler, you got your microwave, trash can, pretty much everything you need. Got an extra TV just to give that sports bar vibe. I'll fire that TV up later, show you guys how all the wiring is actually done in here. But then you got a nice little accent wall, nice finished out bathroom. Got to have a bathroom in the basement. You don't want to be trucking upstairs every time. Over here, you got a little concession area for the kiddos. Make some old fashioned popcorn like it's the theater. Got uh, all your candies and lollipops. Relax, eat and enjoy. That is what I'm talking about. Look at this. This is exactly how I'm gonna have it for my kiddo. Lined out, ready to rock and roll. Got all the goodies. Mmm. And then of course, gotta have your beverages. Nice little chill area, hang out with the dog and the, the kids, fire up the fireplace, get nice and cozy. And um, as you wake, make your way into here, I think you guys are gonna find some inspiration in this room. It's like a gym slash 
uh, kids gaming room. So you got the dual monitor set up so that the kids can get competitive with it. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Got the gaming consoles down below. Little arcade game here. Mm-hmm. This is a must have if you got kids. All right, so all that's pretty cool. And I hope that gives you guys some inspiration as to what you can do in your own space. But you know, our specialty is that guy over there. So let's go run through that theater real quick, guys. All right, so three rows of seating, technically. But this is more so just for the drinkers, the guys hanging out playing pool that still want to put their drink down and maybe catch a little bit of the movie or the football game, but they're not as involved as your primary seating areas right here. And the reason I point that out is because this room was designed, the audio, by our consultants just for the two rows of seating. And the configuration that we're running in here is a full 7.2.4, which you guys know is really our most popular surround sound format right now. So let's talk about the speakers. What's going on in here? Because I don't really see anything. Hmm. <laughs> well, this is kind of the thing. So, especially with families, you got kids, you don't want them poking all your cones and tweeters and messing up your equipment. So what we do is an acoustically transparent screen. This is 106 inches. And this particular model, I actually highlighted in that Monroe house, down the road here in New Jersey um, is 106 inches and acoustically transparent fixed frame. Acoustically transparent means we get to put the speakers behind the screen. Now this one from Dragonfly in particular is one of my favorites for cost of performance. This whole theater here, just like you need with a family, right? You need good performance but still a reasonable budget. So that's what this does. This acoustically transparent screen is woven. So you can't even see, you can't even tell that it's not just a normal screen because of the woven technology. Now, perforated screens, you kind of get like that screen door effect on cheaper models. Whereas Dragonfly, the reason we use this one is it performs really well and it's still reasonably priced. It's not as cheap as Elite and Silver Ticket, but you know, we don't sell that stuff because we really pride ourselves on the products we sell. So this unit right here, I'm a believer. Now behind here, we got Klipsch Pro Series, the Pro 250 RPW LCR. If you guys are a subscriber, how many times have you seen us use this speaker? Too many to count. <laughs> it's a crowd pleaser and it's reasonably priced. Um, so left, right, center, all at your level lined up perfect right behind here. And then down below, I'll, I'll show you on the other side of this wall, because I know you guys want to see how it's all put together. So you're going to have to uh, bear with me. I'm, I'm, I'm teasing you a little bit, <laughs> giving you a little background on what's going on. So here you got the SPL 120 and another SPL 120 right down there at the bottom behind these mesh panels. It's just acoustic fabric. And you can't even see them. This whole front sound stage just looks really nice. Now, that's the front. Let's get into the rest of the room. What do we got going on here? We got surround left, surround right, and then surround rear left and surround rear right. Well, actually, technically, it's the other way around. This is the left side and this is the right side. You always set it up on the back of the AVR facing this direction. But what's being utilized here are the Pro 180 RPWs. So the reason we go with the Pro 180s is to give you that nice 
full mid range on the back side of the room because you only have subs up here, sub woofers, which go into the low frequency bass. But that kind of helps. That helps compensate for it. So those are at ear level or right above ear level. And then up here on the ceiling, which these are painted, all these grills are paintable. Um, you got Pro 160s and they're right over the primary seating areas. So this is literally exactly as we instructed it to be done. According to home theater standards, if you place the speakers in the proper location, then you're going to get a lot better performance because what happens is this Dolby sits down and says, when you're watching a movie, that car flying off of a cliff or gunshots coming from the left right speaker, it's specifically designed in the uh, programming to come from that exact speaker. And if you don't have them in the right spot, then it's not going to sound appropriate. So like you want low level effects coming through right here and you want high level effects right above you all that rain coming down all the thunder the planes flying over you bombs coming down all that good stuff so that's the surround sound configuration pretty cool huh now let's look at the projector this projector is the epson 6050 again if you guys follow our channel you know that we're obsessed with the epsons because they are value to performance. The Epson 6050 is bar none, without a doubt, our best seller for value to performance. And the reason is, is because it's bright, it's vibrant, and it does pretty good with 4K. It's gonna accept a native 4K signal, but it's using E-Shift. It has a three LCD technology, and with that E-Shift, it's emulating the 4K but it'll accept an 8K, or sorry, 4K, 18 gig per second signal. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's 2,600 lumen output. So it's pretty close to like a laser projector, honestly. And it's a 1,200,000 to one contrast ratio. It's a beauty. In combination with that Acousta Weave screen from Dragonfly, it's hard to beat. And you can see he's got a little riser right here, a little step up. Track lighting up there looks good. I like how they did that. And last but not least, a Harmony remote. So with Harmony, this is one of the universal remotes that Dream Media sells. It's one button press. You just hit one button and everything fires up and tur everything turns to the right input. It's as easy as that. Um, you can even control the lighting. As you can see over here, he's got all lights on, but you can go in and adjust those right from the remote. It's pretty cool. Now, how does this remote communicate with the equipment? And where is the equipment? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so, this is pretty cool, guys. Check out this hidden door back here. This is where our gear is. And I'll show you how that remote actually communicates. Turn on the light. All right, so let me show you guys right here. Come back, got a little area for the equipment. And here's our subwoofers. See how you couldn't see them from the other side? Super clever, huh? He even closed up the back side of the wall so that the speakers perform as intended with a closed cavity. So uh, there's our other subwoofer. And we're just hooked up on the LFE input out of the AVR, which let me try to readjust and show that to you guys. We did not provide this rack customer already had it so he's using it but you guys know i like that strong fs series rack which if you check out that other one in monroe you'll see he did go with the strong fs series rack all of our wiring is coming down right here 
consult with us guys whenever you're doing your project we'll make sure that all the wiring gets done and it's in the right place all right so you got the watt box surge protector with the light kit on it you guys know we sell this like hot cakes come on down this is the hub so whenever i was telling you earlier you know how do you control all that equipment well what actually happens is with the Harmony remote, you hit a button on it and it communicates to the base station right here. And then that actually communicates with the rest of the devices in the rack, including Apple TV. The Amazon Fire is actually controlled over uh, Bluetooth, but um, communicates with your AVRs and everything like that. Now, this customer actually is running a 5.1 upstairs as well, but we're gonna focus on the theater room okay so right here we got the denon avr x 3700 and then a separate uh, amplifier because the denon 3700 as you can see right here it actually only does 9.2 uh, channels um, amplified at 105 watts and that's two channels driven so that poses an issue right how, what are you gonna do with, uh, or how are you gonna power up the rest of the speakers? Well, it actually has 11.2 channel processing. So this came out this year, 2021, and it is an incredible value with that 11.2 channel processing. And then down here, he just has the A150 Emotiva amp to power up the rest of the speakers. Pretty sweet. The alternative is to not purchase the Denon 4700, but purchase the Denon 6700, which we've had serious inventory issues on uh, because it does have 11 channel amplification and processing. So there are a lot of ways that you can set up your system, guys. But see here at Dream Media, that's what we specialize in is figuring out what's in stock what's the best products for your money and your space and then we'll help you get it all lined out so that regardless of the space or budget we're maximizing the potential of your system we really pride ourselves on that and everybody on my team is super passionate about what we do and we really care about getting you that full experience all right guys let's uh get out of this closet Special Ops team was able to retrieve from the base attack. We believe they're of the same exoskeletal tie camp cord. I mean, guys, this is just being streamed off of the Fire TV, and the image quality is really, really top quality. That's why this Epson 6050 is just one of our best sellers because, I mean, you, it's, it's dang close let's just say that dang close to native 4k obviously it's not as sharp and uh clean as that you're not going to see the detail that you would see out of our jvcs and sony's especially not the G jvc dilas but um for what it cost the color pop the vibrancy the detail it's there the e-shift works look at this against the next attack, which I would bet my ridiculous government salary is coming. I bought a car for not to be an alien robot. Who knew? All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my quick review of this basement here in Trenton, Robbinsville area in New Jersey. You guys know that we are working on providing theaters to every home in America. And my journey through New York and New Jersey has been absolutely awesome. As well as my trip most recently through Virginia, D.C., and Maryland. I mean, 
all of y'all's support is absolutely unreal. I just can't believe it. It's so fun to go out and meet you guys and show off your systems. If you guys would like to purchase anything you see in our videos, or really anything home theater related, there's more than likely a high chance that we carry the brand that you're looking for. And we would love the opportunity to supply that product. And we have a free design service. So our guys are ready for you to call in slow and steady, walk you through on a Zoom meeting, FaceTime, figure out exactly what fits your needs and budget. And then we could even get you hooked up with a preferred partner. So I got guys all over the country that are joining our preferred partner program and they believe in five-star service just like we do here at Dream Media. So we got you on the product and we got you on the installation and the design. So whatever you need, Dream Media is your one-stop shop. That's all I got for you guys. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. Just cruising through New Jersey. On to the next one.